everybody welcome to today's video today's video is just going to be a talk we're talking about fixing the problem but not addressing the root cause for those who have been following along in my Articat build we know what the issue was however not addressing the root cause won't fix the underlying problem the same thing will just keep happening time and time again and this can apply to anything that you're fixing if you identify the problem on whatever it is that you're fixing and that same part keeps on breaking down shortly after you haven't addressed the root cause of what the problem really is so let's have a look during the Articat differential rebuild we identified that the seal was shot and that's what caused the differential to get full of mud and you know damaged all those bearings originally I had thought that the breather was plugged and that was the issue that could have been not could have been but replacing the seal after rebuilding the differential would not have fixed the problem this is why we're gonna look at the root cause so this is a new axle right here your seal surface is gonna ride right there okay the same axle the dust shield or mud seal whatever it is had broke off and you can see where it was rubbing into the seal itself but if I would have just replaced the seal after rebuild put this back in it wouldn't be long before I'm in the same boat I was in so you can see right there that seal surface is completely shot all those years of mud building up behind there has completely destroyed that surface there's no saving that look at the new one repeat now if you wanted to get fancy you could machine that down and painfully look for a seal that's going to be slightly the inside diameter slightly larger so that it would accommodate for the part that you machine down I mean you can go that route but in my end so I don't want to screw around with that I don't want to be messing around with that I just went and got brand new axles problem solved those axles are like 12 years old no I lied it's 10 my quads 2007 so 10 years old anyways I just want to use that as an example when you're working on something if you keep replacing batteries in your vehicle, put a new one in, you know, a few months later, a year later, the battery's dead, and it repeats itself over and over again, you're not addressing the real problem. I don't know what happened there. I just went to edit the video and the clip just cut off. Anyways, if the problem keeps persisting, you're not identifying the root cause of the issue. I hope this video helps. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.